consider yourself a low roller craps player, small bankroll, looking to have some fun on the table, or maybe you're going to the casino with a couple buddies on Friday, Saturday night, and uh, just looking to have some fun with you know a few hundred bucks or whatever you have. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you a strategy that I would play personally in that type of situation. Uh, so let's hop over to the table. Let's get into it. What's up everyone, Chris with Dice DGen here. And in uh, today's video, I'm gonna go over a low roller strategy uh, that I would play if I came to the casino with a relatively small bankroll, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Um, usually these strategies are a grind um, or you're betting you know, very lightly on certain numbers, you're maybe covering one or two numbers, maybe you're just betting the pass line, maybe you're just betting the don't pass. Um, but that allows for a lot of other dice combinations to affect you. Um, so if I was playing a low roller strategy, uh, this is something that I would play. Um, so let's hop into it. Uh, the way it starts is I'm going to start with a modified version of the six, seven, eight, uh, which is a strategy that you bet 25 on the don't pass, um, and then 12 on the six and eight. This I'm assuming this is a ten dollar table, by the way. So with that strategy, you're betting on the three most common numbers on the dice: the six, the seven, and the eight. Now, if you don't want to play the dark side, you can play the pass line. Me personally, if I'm playing low rolling, I'm looking for a strategy that's going to give me the most dice coverage. So this is what I would do. And uh, if you have any suggestions or tweaks to it, uh, let me know down in the comments. But um, basically what I would do is I would start with a $25 don't pass. Now you may be thinking, well, why so much on the don't pass if you're a low roller? I'm using that as a hedge, again, like this six, seven, eight, because I'm gonna be putting $12 on the six and eight for a total of $24. So if the seven comes, I'm covering those bets here. Um, again, it's hard with a low bankroll, low roller strategy to actually cover the most numbers. So this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, so uh, you wait for a point to be established, right? So let's say uh, 10's the point, right? Puck will go on. Then you're gonna bet $12 on the six and eight. So basically the same layout as a six, seven, eight strategy. And then I'm gonna throw $10 in the field. Now, personally, I'm not a big field bet player. However, when you're low rolling, you're really trying to cover as many numbers as possible. So uh, in this situation, I would, I guess, play the field. Um, but like I said, I don't really play it that often. So um, for this strategy though, we're gonna play the field. So this is how uh, your setup would go. So you have a total of um, $59 invested. Again, maybe like a $200 bankroll. So that's you know not really enough for four shooters, but if you're playing a low roller strategy, you're probably gonna be dipping into your bankroll or your profits. If you come looking for like a 10 shooter bankroll, then you, know, you can set aside the money for 10 shooters, rack it differently, however you want. But this is how I'm gonna work it out. So let's say a field number hits, right? Let's say a nine hits, you're gonna get paid $10. Ideally in this situation, you would like a two or a 12 to come out so you get paid double. Some casinos will pay you triple uh, for the 12, but my table has double. But let's say the nine hits, right? I would take these uh, the, the winnings from the field and the field bet and then move them over to like the five and the nine. Try to cover two more bets up here. Now, again, you're still covered if the seven comes out for the most part. You're not fully covered, but you're covered for the most part. Uh, if the seven came right now, you would lose $9 total. But if you can get that field number to hit and you can get up here, you can start racking some money, recouping. If you want, you can spread out a little bit more. But the main thing is you're really trying to cover the most amount of numbers with a low bankroll. You can continue to bet the field if you want on this type of strategy. The only problem with continuing to bet the field is 
that the five, six, and eight are not covered in the field. Obviously the seven isn't either. So the three most common numbers aren't in the field. That's why I personally do not like the field bet. Um, so that's why I don't really play it that much, but for the strategy, we're gonna play it. From here, you're looking to start collecting some money. Maybe you'll press it up. But what I would personally do in this situation, in this strategy, is I get my first field hit, okay? I press to the five and nine, I'd look for you know two or three hits, collect that, and take these bets down. That's what I would personally do. Um, you know, you're working with small bankroll, you're looking to collect some profit, and if you can get those three hits, you're really looking at you know maximizing how many shooters you can withstand at the table. All right, so um, that's how it works out. If you hit the if you hit like a six or an eight on the first roll and not the field, I would just replace the field. If you hit the five, you're gonna have to replace the field because it's not covered. But uh, I have a two hundred dollar bankroll here, count it out. We will give it a few rolls, show you how it works, and uh, let's see if we can you know get some profit uh, with this low roller strategy. So uh, top into uh, top into a live roll. All right, so I have a $200 bankroll counted out here. Uh, I'm actually not really gonna need this tray because we're just gonna keep it in the one tray. Uh, we don't have enough bankroll to you know, do like, let's say five, six, seven, eight, so forth shooters and rack them separately. So I'm gonna keep it in the same bankroll. I will move it over to the side here, but we're gonna be using this, uh, just this for today because we have you know, $200 counted out. So start out with a $200 don't pass. Grab some dice, shooter number one coming out. Eight, six, two, eight. All right, so um, if you haven't seen the five, six, or sorry, the six, seven, eight video, um, I'll link it down below and I'll put a card up for it. But if you have the eight, you're betting against the eight with the don't pass. So I would move the six over to another number. And in this strategy here, since we are betting the field, I would move it to the five since you have the nine covered with the field bet, all right? So you're gonna put a $10 five and you're gonna do a $12, you need a $12 six, all right? So this goes to the bank, this goes to our rack, right? And then we need a $10 field bet, okay? So the number that's really gonna hurt us here is the eight, every other number we have some sort of winning coming on, all right? So roll number two. And we have a two, one, three. So that is a winner in the field. So you get paid one to one odds there, so $10 there. Now what I would do is I would move this to the nine, so you're covering the inside with the exception of the eight because you're there. If you wanna play the field again or you wanna cover the four and 10, you can certainly do so. Again, you're at risk, $9 right now. Uh, it's actually slightly less because we're not betting the eight. Uh, so you're, you're at risk $7 right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move this to the 10 and I'll bet the 10. We're not gonna bet the field for right now. Again, if you wanna just bet the field since the four and 10 are on the field, by all means, go for it. But uh, we're just gonna place bet the 10. Now we're looking for these three hits on these numbers and we'll take our bets down. Eight, easy eight. All right, so that's not good for us. Right, so we lose the 25 here. Shooter hit their point, and uh, we're gonna hop back on the don't pass again. Our bets are off, we're following the puck. Six, five, one, six. All right, so that'll be our point. Um, again, we're betting against the six with the don't pass, so we're gonna move this to the eight now, and we're looking for those hits. Nine, five, four, center field nine. It's gonna pay $12, or sorry, $14. So we have our $10 bet, gonna pay 14. We're just gonna rack this. And we have a five, two, seven. So we lose all these bets here, right? So we lost a total of this 25, 40, $42. Uh, we are going to get paid on the $25 don't pass. And then uh, with the winnings off that nine, uh, we almost broke even. However, we did lose the don't pass. So we are down a bit on that shooter. Uh, they did hit their point. Again, if you 
don't want to play the dark side you can certainly bet the pass line uh, however I'm going for common numbers in this strategy so that's why I am betting the seven rather than or that's why I'm betting the don't pass rather than uh, betting the pass line but happens all right so um, got shooting number two coming out and again I want to make a public service announcement real quick um, please do not gamble more than you can afford to lose so if you're going to the casino and you have $200 to your name please do not bet $200 on the game of craps probably should not be betting at all at that point but uh, I just want to make that clear that this is gambling you can lose all of it even though it's a low roller strategy and you do you are covering the most common numbers uh, just please know you know how much you can afford to lose practice your bankroll management uh, I don't want to see people you know losing a ton of money at the game of craps but uh, for the low rollers you know like I said you're coming with a couple hundred bucks right I would advise against going to the ATM and constantly pulling out money. Um, it, it might not work out for you. It may, but just know what you can lose. Whatever you come with, you know, and you know your bankroll and you know your monetary assets better than obviously I would or anything. So just please be smart. All right. That's all I'm going to say on that, but please do be smart. All right. So uh, we're on shoot number two now. We got the don't pass set up. Shoot number two is coming out. We have a 314. Point will be four. Okay. So now we're going to take, we're going to ask the dealer to give us $12 on the six and eight. And we're going to get down in the field for $10. Eight, easy eight. Six, two, eight. All right. So you lose the field, you lose the $10 in the field. But you are going to get paid fourteen dollars for our twelve dollar eight, right? So I'm going to get back in the field here, and we'll just rack these four dollars. Six to five one six. So we lose the field again, but we are going to get paid another fourteen uh, for our six. Now, if you want. Instead of betting the field again, you can start placing five, nine, whatever you want to with your, your profits here. Uh, but I'm going to go back in the field, hope for that. This is why I don't like the field personally, because again, we're betting the most common numbers with this strategy and they're not in the field. So just keep it going. And we have a four, three, seven. All right. So we lose these bets. We are going to get paid on the don't pass, so we'll rack that up, okay? Puck comes off, and now we have another shooter coming out. So again, $25 don't pass. Looking for a point. It's a 415, point will be five, okay? Again, getting down on the six and eight for $12. And we're getting ten dollars in the field. Now, on this roll, the five here would be absolutely devastating for the small bank roll because you would lose the field and you would lose it on pass. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Four, four hard. All right, so hard four is in the field, so we get paid one to one in the field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and cover the five, or sorry, the nine and the ten. Um, if you wanted to rack it and just play with the six, seven, eight, by all means, go for it. But I'm gonna do that here. Six, six, easy. It's a five, one, six. It's gonna pay fourteen, and we're just gonna rack this. So that was hit number one. We're looking for two more here, and then we're just gonna pull everything down. Ten. 10 hard. $10 going to pay 18. So we're going to rack this also. And uh, one more hit here. Hopefully. Six, six easy. All right. So that's going to pay another uh, $14. 
right? And in this situation, again, the main thing here is the low roller strategy. Um, I would pull this down now for the low roller. You've made profit on this shooter, right? You're looking to stay at the casino, live to fight another day. So what I would do now is just leave the don't pass. You can pull it off if you want, but you've done the hard work already by avoiding the seven or 11 on the come out roll. So I would just leave this up and um, just be, you know, hoping that the seven comes before the five. Again, you're not cheering for the seven. Uh, if you haven't watched my other videos on like how to act at the craps table and stuff, um, again, I'll link them down below, but we're not cheering for the seven. We're just playing the percentage here and we're hoping the seven comes, but we're not going to be, you know, partying when the seven comes. All right. Now, if you want, you are profiting. So you can, you know, maybe hop back on the six and eight and start covering other numbers. But again, the main thing with the low roller is you're really looking to make some profit, secure the profit, and then we'll move on to the next shooter. You're not looking to really get press, 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 get, you know, your whole bankroll out there and then lose it all if a seven does come. You wouldn't lose it all, but you'd lose a lot of it, all right? Nine, center field nine, five, four, nine. To six, two, eight, easy eight. And we have a three, two, five. All right, so that's the point hit. We lose it, don't pass. Again, if you wanted to pull it, you can pull it. Um, so now this shooter, right, they hit their point if you want, so you're not just standing there, you can, you know, hop back into the strategy, do the same thing again. So I will do that for this shooter. Um, so we're gonna go back on the don't pass. Now do mind that if there is a hot shooter, right, and they're hitting a lot of points and stuff, you may just wanna sit out and wait for, you know, another shooter, whatever. Again, it's hard with a low roller strategy. You're usually trying to grind it out, all right? So same shooter, you got the don't pass. And we're back on that five. You got a four, one, five. Again, we're gonna go uh, $12 on the six and eight. $10 in the field. Nine, center field nine. All right, so that's gonna pay matches here, right? Now, if you remember, we are profiting on this shooter, so Again, you can cover the rest of the numbers if you want. Again, I'm gonna cover the nine and the 10. Um, look for those three hits and then pull it down again. And let's hope we can get them. If not, we did profit on this shooter. 10, 10 hard. I'm gonna pay 18. Right, 18. We're gonna rack that. And we have a six one seven seven. So we're gonna lose these bets here. They are gonna get paid on the don't pass. So we'll rack that. All right, and uh, let's do maybe one more shooter here. Hope we can get our hits and turn our bets off and see what happens. So we have a 10, 10 hard. I'm uh, sorry, I did forget to put the don't pass. Uh, that would have been there. So um, after the point is established, you can't bet the don't pass. Um, I just forgot. So sorry for that. Don't pass would have been there. Um, so 10. Now we're going to go 12 on the 6 and 8. $10 in the field. All right. Shooter has the dice. 8, easy 8. So we're going to lose the field. And we're going to get paid $14 for our 8. We're gonna rack the four, hop back in the field there. And we have a one, two, three, three creps. It's gonna pay $10 in the field. I'm gonna take this and cover the five and nine. So now we have 44 inside. It's a five, one, six. It's gonna pay $14. And some more singles here. 14. All right, so rack that. Looking for a couple more hits. You have a 5 3 8, easy 8. All right, that's again, gonna pay 14. 
do 15 for one here. Rack that. We have a 325. Again, that's going to pay 14. We'll do 15 for one. And at that point, that's our third hit. So we're going to pull these bets down. We'll rack this up here. And, uh, you know, now we're waiting for, we're playing the waiting game. Seeing comes first, a 10 and a 7, all right? It's another 3, 2, 5. Dice rolled, but it was a 5. We have a 6, 3, 9. That's a 6, 2, 8. Again, if you want to leave your bets up there, by all means, you can. Uh, you can press, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just trying to secure profit for the shooter, rack it up, and then just enjoy the table, enjoy the game of craps, uh, all of that. Because again, low roller strategies, they're a grind. So you're, you know, you're looking to get some profit, rack it, and then um, you know, live to fight for the next shooter. Um, on a long roll, you may be sitting out for a while. Uh, you could leave some profit on the table. However, the long rolls and then... They're not as common as, you know, the sevens to come out, 0.7, things like that. Um, so just keep that in mind. And we have a 617. All right, so the puck would come off. We would get paid on the don't pass here. And uh, a few shooters there. Let's see how we did. All right, so we have this counted out. Remember, we started with a $200 bankroll. Uh, this is 100 here. It's 200. It's 75, 90, $92. So it profited $92 um, with, yeah, I think, three or four shooters. I don't remember exactly how many I did, but three or four shooters. And, um, you know, again, like I said, the low roller strategies are a grind. Right, so in this scenario, right, you're up ninety-two dollars. You have made almost half your bankroll that you came with. Up to you if you want to keep playing, if you want to leave. Um, you know, most people, especially like professional craps players and stuff, have a certain amount they're looking to win. And I can tell you for a fact, fifty percent of your bankroll is definitely time when they would walk away from the table. All right, so up to you. Again, please be smart. Please practice bankroll management. Um, it is gambling, but this is how I would play the low roller type strategy. All right, so again, $92 profit on a couple shooters there. Worked out well for us. Um, if there's something you wanna see me roll out, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any tweaks to this strategy and I can certainly uh, play them out see how they work uh, but this is the low roller strategy that i personally would play something that you know i don't want to take credit for coming up with this i'm not sure if somebody else has played this i would be pretty surprised if they haven't so i'm not gonna you know say this is my strategy um i haven't seen it personally on the channel so i can technically say that i came up with this again if somebody did come up with this you can let me know down in the comments we'll give them full credit uh, but this is what I would do as a low roller in the casino. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, drop a like. Again, comment uh, if you have any tweaks, if you want to see anything else rolled out. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.